y'all. So I know the steering wheel is in the way, but I wanted to document, not document, I wanted to talk about, no, not talk about. I wanted to have you all follow me through this journey, I guess, to, um, to my performance. Um, it's on Saturday. Today is Thursday. So right now I'm driving back to um, LA from Merced. I went to go visit my boyfriend and did a video with him. It's a funny thing. Just funny lesson learned. So I have known about this performance for months now. I lagged on rehearsing because it's like I never made the time like okay let's actually do this everybody's here there here there and I'm just like oh I don't even want to do the performance anyways I didn't really want to do it so and forgive me for looking away I'm just trying not to cringe long story short I am not prepared I have not rehearsed like I'm gonna be performing with Tay and Nate and they're amazing so I know they're gonna get it but I just hate feeling like I'm, I'm not ready you know so anyways my aunt likes for my boyfriend to drive back with me because she feels a little bit safer, you know, me driving four hours and whatnot. But I don't really mind. So I just asked him, I was like, hey, do you want to come back to LA with me? Maybe see me perform on Saturday? And he was like, oh, I want to, but I can't because I have to go to rehearsals for this comedy show that I'm doing. And I was just like, I'm not saying this in a bitter way because I'm not bitter about it, but it was just lesson learned. So I'm like, I came over here, drove four hours to see you, I should have been rehearsed. I should have kept my ass in LA and rehearsed for this show that I have Saturday. I was like, his priorities are straight, so I need to get mine straight. And it's like I said, it's nothing from bitterness, but it's just a lesson learned. Like, you know what, girl, you got to put yourself first because in times like these, when it's time to, okay, let me go, the people are going to do what they want to do. People are going to do what they have to do for themselves because it's important to them. This is important to me. It's a priority. I should have just waited another week and let it be that. So, just a little lesson learned. I am driving right now in my hot ass car because it's no AC. I got the window up so y'all can hear me talk, but I'm about as soon as I get out, I'm about to turn this motherfucker down, stick my head out, everything. So it's really hot right now. It's like 90 something. But I'm on my way back to LA. And shoot, I'm like 100 and some, 200 and something miles away from. Los Angeles is a four hour drive, so I'll check in in a few hours. It's a medium distance relationship because it's not like we're across the country, but we are medium, you know, a medium across the state. So that's that. I will check in with y'all later and I'm gonna roll this window down so I don't die of heat stroke. Oh, and my car feels a little weird. She's feeling better now that she's got some gas, but she was feeling a little weird. So. Yeah, y'all pray for me, even though you're going to see this when I'm back in L.A., but still, I just need prayer. All right, y'all, so I'm about 45 minutes away from L.A. The drive was actually pretty smooth. Watched a movie it's called Juanita on um, Netflix. I look horrible. Oh, my God, I can't wait to get some water on my face and refresh myself. I've been in a car, a hot car, 90 degrees for going on this is my lab. Well, three hours, 25 minutes. So I am, oh, I can't wait. I'm going straight to the studio so I can go rehearse. So that's that. And I will check back in where to, at the studio rehearsing for the show. Okay, so I'm back from my four hour drive. I made it safe. I'm a little sweaty, a little funky, that's okay. So I'm in the studio and there's Tay. Chai Latte on Instagram. It's amazing. Granny, Granny, <laughs> Granny winning, <laughs> Grammy winning guitar artist. He's awesome sauce. I feel a little bit more confident about it now because I'm really not doing most of the work. I just have, I just come and sing and show up. That's why people are like, oh my God, I love this singer so much. It takes about 17 people to make that singer who they are. Trust me, everybody's on the payroll. Everybody's getting paid. This singer has the, they're the vessel that other people are using to get you know their talents too just know behind your favorite person there's always 10 times more people behind them making them who they are and all getting checks so remember that um yeah still rehearsing gonna keep rehearsing till my voice bleeds i thought this was barack obama <laughs> from south, south side chicago with you or something like that shout out to barack 
Wanna do read between the lines? Okay. I'm gonna play it. <laughs> It is 9.22? 9.22. I've been here since 2, pretty much. We've been rehearsing for a long time today. There's Tay. We're waiting for Nathan to come, but he probably won't. I have full faith in them that we'll work it out we could wing it but i think this is probably gonna be our last show that we wing huh we'll have better uh better preparation rehearsal coordination but cool thing i thought i had missed a lot of like live versions of songs that i had that i no longer have access to and i found out that i have a lot of those instrumental still like this one playing so I'm, I'm actually pretty excited. Good afternoon. So I'm currently at work right now at my patient's house. I work with elderly people and my patient is such a sweet, sweet, kind natured soul. So I'm here right now making him some lunch. I just finalized the set list, sent that to Nathan, sent that to Tay. We're just getting all the quirks worked out and they're gonna go rehearse and then I'll meet back up with them later once I'm done with work. So I'm a little nervous still, but it feels like everything's coming back together or it looks like everything's coming around. So not too nervous, just a little bit though, but who wouldn't be, so. Yes. <laughs> All right, y'all, day two rehearsals. Just got finished with work. I'm high off of Benadryl. Mm, Cause my patient's dog's scratching on me. This is Nathan. Hey. Yeah, he's gonna go get his shrimp scampi. Every nigga's main meal is shrimp scampi. go to churches I just never had a I care biscuit. about myself Ask anyone around town about churches biscuits I never heard anybody you're tweaking I their chicken churches. tastes like paper but the biscuits slap and I don't even like fried chicken that way that shit is all I trash so I just got home boy am I beat I am so tired oh we just did hours of rehearsals it's about 2 a.m. right now 2 15 to be exact. So I'm about to get ready for bed and when I wake up, it'll be the day of the show. 
how'd I feel about it? I feel 60, 40. Uh, so, hey, that's better than 50, 50 or 70, 30 or something. Anyways, yeah, I'll see you later. Minutes with your baby, we was kicking it. Usually, I, I keep aside the bottles and I drink, cause to suddenly might think that she's got ties with other lives. Hey, I do what I do to keep it fair and keep it honest. I don't got emotions for one, but two, there can't be much done. For three, these things don't bother me. I've been done, undone all my streams, and you ask me what in a new direction. I knew it. I knew you'd like it. I had such a long day. My throat is hurting. I know my voice is strained, but that's the best that I've ever sounded live. So, <sighs> relief. Another notch in the belt of singing live. I'm just so happy that my friends and family came and saw me perform. And now I'm going to rest. Rest, rest, rest. Are we going to rest? We're going to rest? We're going to rest. Also, um, it was such a hectic day that I didn't get a chance to vlog arriving there and setting up on stage it was so much going on like at first Nathan left his piano or his keyboard and then we got another keyboard from the studio but then someone brought the wrong plugs they didn't have the right plugs we needed it was just a hot mess but it came out so 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 well so I just want to shout out to Nathan and Tay thank you so much for always supporting me and backing my shows and playing my musics that we all make together so it's amazing who y'all i'm tired and again forgive me i'm just getting new to the vlogging thing so now i know like okay i need to get footage of this i need to get footage of that it's a learning experience definitely a learning experience so i will see y'all on the next vlog that i have and hopefully um, it'll come out a little bit better than this one. You'll get a little bit more behind the scenes, a little bit more information and stuff. But uh, thank you. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at oh damn the man.